So hi, Tyler. Hey. Uh, we're here at the Eventide booth, and uh, you're going to show us your new Eurorack module, right? That's correct. Yeah. So this is uh, Misha, and this is a interval-based instrument and sequencer. And so, what interval-based means in this context is when you play a piano, every time you play that key on a piano, it's going to sound a specific note. The same note is always tied to the same key. But on Misha, you have these interval buttons. So every time you press the button, it's going to play that interval. So right now we're starting at C major, right? So every time I press plus one, it advances by one note in the scale. So and if I do minus one, it's going to go back down. So if I do plus two, it'll go by two intervals. The same if I do minus two. And so what's interesting about this is you can create some cool patterns by if we do plus two minus one. Or we can do minus three plus two. And so it's very easy to just change the key now. So if I want to do A major, now I can play that same pattern. And now if I want to change the scale, I could simply just rotate this. And now we have a chromatic scale. So now uh, we have pentatonic. So is it more um, is it more of a kind of interface for playing, or is it a sequencer as well? Yeah, so it has a built-in sequencer as well. So if we'll just record a quick little sequence here. And now this is the clock divider, so we can play it at different speeds. We also have a few ways that we can modify this. So if this is the inversion of that, and now this is playing random notes of that pattern, and now this is the pendulum, so it plays the whole thing and then it plays it backwards. And then we could also modify it in a few other ways too. From here, we could say we're going to change it to pentatonic and change the key. And now I have a totally new composition. And so there's a hundred scales built in. And so it has scales that you're familiar with, but it also has more experimental scales, it has microtonal scales, uh, and you can actually program your own user-based scales in it too. Do you program uh, user scales on the device, or is that uh, with... Uh, no, you do that on the computer, it uses the Scala file You're format, right, yeah, and then yeah, you okay. just upload them with the uh, SD card, yep. And then uh, it can also play we can also do chords with it, so it does polyphonic sequencing, so now we can... So let's go back to... So is this, uh, currently this is playing, uh, is giving a MIDI output, and yeah. that's going into the Expert Sleepers? Disting. Yeah, this right. is okay. the Disting EX. Yeah. yeah, and what's nice about this too is we could send, we could do program changes to the Disting. So right now I can just load up a new preset, and this preset is sending a program change to the Disting. So now I have a sequence in here. 
and now it's loaded a new sound, a new uh, pre-recorded sequence. And so then we could easily just say, let's load a new, another one. It's going to take a second to load this sound here. So in terms of like uh, I.O., like inputs and outputs, what have we yes. got going on? And are these like assignable or anything like that? Uh, yeah, so this is, this is the MIDI input and output, but it also has three pairs of CV and gate outputs. So when you're doing the chords like that, each one of these would be, this would be the each note per chord. Uh, the CV inputs, they allow a few different things. So the middle, this does pitch bend here. This one uh, transposes it, and then the other one just plays the interval buttons. Uh, but uh, we plan on having it be, you know, assignable, different ones. Um, we also have these, these user assignable buttons here too. So um, by default, so right now we're playing the major scale, but these buttons will play chromatically. So if you're want, this allows you to add sort of accidentals in, right? So if you're playing. And then these buttons are going to play your octaves. But you can assign these to be whatever functions you want. Um, and then there's also total control over MIDI. Um, you can play this with a MIDI keyboard. So when you're playing with the MIDI keyboard, now it'll play your interval buttons. So that's sort of just a, a completely different way um, that you're interfacing with the product and that a different way of using the MIDI keyboard. So um, is it... Uh is it available soon? Are you, do you have it in production? What's the kind of roadmap for this? Uh, yeah, this will be available at the end of the summer. Okay. And uh, do you have a price point? Uh, yes, it's five ninety nine. Brilliant. Well, Tyler, thank you very much. Great. Thanks for having me. <laughs>